Hi, this is the DIY Affiliate, and uh, today we're going to be making a playlist, so let's get started. First, you need to download two apps. So let's go to the uh, Google Play Store. And I'm just looking for my Play Store right now. There we go. And the first stop is the Universal Coffee. So you're going to type in Universal Coffee right there. And then you're going to install it. And then when you open it, you're going to activate it. Make sure these are clicked. And you can either um, start with a full screen or just be able to just um, copy anything that you want on the screen. I don't have this clicked, but you can have it clicked if you want to start with a full screen. And then the, the next app that you're going to look for is the YT Studio. And this will allow you to do more things than what you can actually do in the YouTube app. app. So you just install that, and when you open it up, this is what you'll see. You will see a da your dashboard. You'll be able to look at your videos. All your videos. You'll be able to look at your playlist that you've already created. And any comments that... Um, anybody has left you and you'll be able to see your comments from here and what I do is I look at my comments and if you've noticed all of the featured channels that I have uh, on my channel are from these comments so if you leave me a comment I will then put you up as a featured channel on my channel so that's just a heads up on that you will also be able to see your analytics and one of the main reasons for downloading this app is for this so if you're looking to get more watch time then you want to look at your watch time analytics which are right down at the bottom and then you will see your top videos you choose the top video the one right at the top just you can just click into it so this will actually give you your top video, then it will give you your second video and your third video. And you click into there, and then you see this pencil mark here, you just click into there. Now this is going to give you information that you need um, about your video and also If you click in into the advanced settings, then you can also see some more information about your video. Make sure you well with me, I am in Creative Commons, allow comments and all that, just to make sure that everything is there. And then you would then click into that pencil again. And there is a part where you can actually see your tags here. So what you want to do is you want to copy this information right here, sorry. Just the way it is, just press down, use your um, universal copy and then copy the, the tags. Okay, the two boxes are going to give you the tags. And then take your tags and put them in your um, 
notepad. And I've already started a page, but just click on your notepad, paste your tags in there. Now you have all your tags, okay? And that's important. And another thing is to take your information as well. That's here. Pull down your universal copy again. Click on that and take your information here. Copy it. Go back over to your notepad to the place where you just copied your tags and make sure that you're leaving some space. And then put your description in here. So now you have your description and you have your tags. Now, usually in the description, we have the, um, the actual uh, title. So this is the title right here. You have to make sure that you know this is a title. So just put in, um, just put title so that you know this is your title. So when you copy it, you know that this is your title. Okay, and then save that information. Now you have all that information saved. Now you go back into your YouTube studio. Now, since I didn't uh, do anything, I am just going to discard any changes because I don't want to have any changes. Okay. Okay, so now this is where you have, you have your video and you're going to create your uh, playlist, whoops, sorry. You go back into your videos and to the video that, that you chose, okay? And then view more. That's giving me the analytics. That's not really what I want. Okay, so I, I now have the description. I have my tags and everything, but that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is being able to um, look at this video and being able to create the playlist. So I want to go here and I want to... Hi, this is Rochelle and I'm going to... And I'm just going to save that change because I want it to save to where the uh, playlist is going to be and say I wanted to save it to this playlist or when creating a new playlist you would then click on create new you would now have your title in here I just want to go to all notes and I, I guess I this is where I have my title and you would click You can either use this or you can use the, um, the universal copy. If this works, great. Use this. And then go back into the title. So you have your title there. Now I don't want this to be public. This is private. Create see the list then this is now going to give me where i can then take my description out of here out of my notepad remember where you saved it and i saved mine in my notepad OK, 
Okay, so this would be my description right here. So, and I'm actually going to use my universal copy for that. So I'm going to pull that down from the top, use my universal copy, and then just put in here the information that, um, click that, and into my description. Okay. So now when you do a playlist, you know that you normally do not get a place to put your tags. You put your tags in videos. So going back into your notepad, you will then get your tags that you saved, which are right here. And then uh, copy that and put that right at the bottom here. Leave a little space and then put your tags in here or your keywords. Okay, now you have your playlist created with your keywords and your description and now you save. Okay, so now this is the first video for your playlist and now you can now add other videos. You can either go back into your YouTube studio. Oops. You could go back into your YouTube studio and then you could click on your videos that you want to add down here to the saved and then add to uh, where you want your videos to uh, sh show up in your playlist. So this is the beginning of creating a playlist on your tablet. And the reason you'd want to do that is because I don't know about you, but sometimes I need a break from the computer. And when you're working on getting your subscriptions and your watch time hours, you have to create a lot of content. And it has to be something that people actually are interested in and want to see. So when you are creating content, and if it is um, something that you want people to be able to watch with your watch, to get watch time hours, you have to create playlists. And it depends on how many videos that you have. If you've only got a couple of videos that you can put on your playlist, then that's great. But it's also great to be able to say you wanted to um, look up some more videos that you wanted to add to your playlist. I would then go into um, YouTube and I would then find other videos that I wanted to add. And all you do is go to the video, you'll see the three dots there, click on there, save to playlist, and save it to your playlist. And this now becomes part of your playlist. Now the only problem with that is that you see this video that I just downloaded. The video is good, but when you look into the description, you'll see there is a lot of other links in there. And these, if the people click into those links, they will be clicking out of your channel and you won't get the watch time hours. So the best thing to do is to click in there, go to Creative Commons, find a Creative Commons, and then download the video and put your own, like what I've done here. This video is the same as this video. I've just changed the, uh, the thumbnail. And as you can see, this is their description here. Uh, this is my description. Oops. 
getting back in there. This is my description here. So this is all my information. So if anybody clicks in here, this is my this is my information that they're going to. This is um, my uh, thumbnail, and if they watch it, it becomes my watch hours. So that is the only difference when you're creating a playlist is to keep that in mind. If you are putting other people's videos on your playlist, then be careful because people can click out into their links and then they're off your channel and you don't get the watch time hours for it. So I hope this has been helpful. And um, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the bottom of this uh, short tutorial and I will answer them. And remember sharing knowledge is free and this is a DIY affiliate saying have yourself a wonderful day.